Shalom family. This is a very important message. This is a message that um, our people need to know. This is one of those messages that leaders can't teach. They can't break this down. Because if they break this down, it will uncover who they really are. And so they don't even discuss this. They may mention it in a message. The Christian churches mention this in messages. The, the camps, they may mention this, but they don't and will never break this down because they will eventually uncover who they really are. A cult. How to recognize a cult? How to know are you in a cult? Um. Once again, if you don't dig into this, you won't know. So we have to dig into a cult to find out if you, if I am in a cult. This is how we find out, breaking it down, finding out what it means, what it, what it all entails. Because there are none that, that there's not many that's going to teach this. And when you understand you're in a cult, it's up to you to make a conscious decision on what you do from here. I'm going to take my time with this no matter how long it take and I want you to understand this is a serious matter first of all I want you to see the meaning the definition I'm gonna go through all of these different definitions and I have to do this because it, it seems to be there's not one single definition I'm I'm happy with they put a little here a little there so I have to go all these different places to get you the full meaning of a cult. Number one, this is the etymology dictionary. This word cult was a good word. It was a righteous word. And later, you know, uh, you know what they did. They used the law of reversal. They made good words wicked. They made wicked words good. And this is one of those good words that they made wicked. The word cult itself, it didn't mean what we believe it to be today. But look at this in the 1610s. Worship homage. We're talking worship homage. The Most High, his people went to the house. In the, listen, this is where we gave him homage. We acknowledge him. So we see us worship. 1970s, a particular form or system of worship. This was a system of worship. And I know most people don't understand worship. One of the uh, first, probably the second, third video I did concerning worship on this channel. And I showed the Aubrey word and what it simply means, bow down. So we are to bow before the Most High. So this is a form, a system of worship. From French, culti, 17th century. From Latin, cultus. This is what it meant. Care, labor. You see this? To care for, to labor for. This is good. Cultivation. We have to cultivate the land. We have to cultivate our hearts with the word of the Most High. This is good. Culture. We have different cultures in the world today. This is where this word, the root word of culture is cult. So we're seeing this word being good. Worship, reverence, we should worship, we should reverence the Most High. Originally, this is what the word originally meant. Tended, cultivated. We have to tend to the house of the Most High. Louis takes care of the house of the Most High. Louis, cultivate those Kadash things under the commands of the Most High. The word was rare after 17th century, but it was revived in the mid-19th century. Here we go. They revived it. And when they revived it, they changed the meaning with a reverence to ancient and primitive systems of religious belief and worship, especially the rites and ceremonies employed in such worship. So we're seeing now they're adding ceremonies and rites. This is what we see in 
in the Roman Catholic Church. They have ceremonies and rites. This is what we see in Christianity, ceremonies and rites. This is what the camps are doing. You know, these feast days, they're their own ceremonies and rites. It's not done according to scripture. Extended meaning, devoted attention to a particular person or thing. Now we're devoting attention, devoted attention to a particular person or thing. Once again, they change the meaning of cult. In the dictionary, a system, here's cult, a system of religious veneration and devotion directed towards a particular figure or object. So this is a system of religious veneration and devotion. You're dedicating yourself to this religious system. Your religious system, we know they use the word religion as a belief. This is a belief system, normally comes with a book. You know, Bible, Quran, Tanakh, book. It comes with a book, a belief system. A personal thing that is popular. Okay, it also is talking about cult, popular, fashionable among a particular group or sect of society. I don't want to get into that part. This is the Cambridge Dictionary. Cult. A religious group. Now we're talking about a religious group often living together. You see, the others didn't say this. But notice, we're seeing a religious group. A group of people that believe, have a belief. The, 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 um, the enemy's people, they have a religious belief. They have a Bible. It's demonic, but they have a Bible. And we have all these religious groups and often living together. You want to know if you're in a cult? Are you in a belief system and you're living together in a community? This is called a community. So anybody, anyone that's developing a community and they have people living with them in this community, they are in a cult. See how people don't know this. This is why I had to do this video. Our people don't know this. And then they ask me, why don't you build a community within the borders? I don't build a community and I am not going to build a community within the borders because it's not written. It did not come from the mouth of the father. This is man's idea. So we have families you know, husband and wife, they have a community and allowing people to come on their property and building and living together. And they call themselves Hebrew Israelites. This is a cult. This is how you know a cult. This is what they can't break down and teach you because they will expose themselves. They cannot expose themselves. These teachers, these Babylonian teachers, they know what's a cult, but they cannot teach it. They will not teach it because it exposes them. Right now, we're just getting the meaning. And I'm going to break down each and every part that makes a cult a cult. So if you're living in a community, you're living with people, you're in a cult. You have to know this whose beliefs are considered extreme. Their belief system is extreme. Very, very extreme. It's far different than the norm or strange by many people. Vocab di uh, Vocabulary.com. Cult. People argue about whether the majority Religions in the world are just well-established cults. They're arguing about, this is an argument. And I stand on the side, all, is, all of the religions established in the world are cults. Every last one of them. They are cults. This is something, according to the meaning of it, how we know they're nothing more than cults. I agree with this. I agree with those that say it's all the religions. 
It's a cult. Wait till I break down the cult. This is just the meaning. That age and side aside, there are no difference from any group that follows a spiritual leader. Here we go with the word spiritual. The word spiritual connects you to a cult. You remember the prophet said the spiritual man is mad. The Most High don't talk about spiritual. Where did this come from? Cults. It came from cults. So now we have people following a particular leader. I'm going to break down the leader. Who the camp's following. Who the churches are following. I'm going to break down the leader. Show you this leader leading people. This leader leading a cult. The biggest cult in the world is led by the liar, one person. And now these people, the Babylonian teachers, they're talking about spiritual warfare, spiritual minded. And they are mad. A cult is a group of people defined by religious devotion to something, often a self-appointed leader. This leader is self appointed the most high didn't put them in the most high didn't appoint us leaders today you have to know scripture in order to know this remember we have no shepherds that's what came from the mouth of the father we're living in these last days and we according to scripture do not have a shepherd a leader none will lead you out of these lands none will save you these leaders are no more than cult leaders. Every last one of them. Cult leaders. The Most High didn't tell you to be a pastor. The Most High didn't tell you to be a prophet. He didn't call you to be this and that and all these other titles they're giving themselves. Most people view cults, watch this, this is important. Because most people view cults as strange and frightening. They're afraid of cults. When you say the word cult, they shake and shiver. I don't want to be a part of a cult. But this is not how the cults are really are. This is not the meaning of a cult. Mostly because cults have, over the years, done some strange and frightening things. Including murders and mass suicides. This is a fact. And this is what people know. But what they don't know, most cults are loving. They are very, very loving and kind. And they will hug you and tell you, I love you. And I love the most high. This is what they would do. And the people will embrace it. Sometimes, too, you'll see cult used as an adjective to describe something or someone small, Okay, this is going back to the fan base, and I'm not interested in the fan base. So we see the self-appointed leader. Someone has to make themselves a leader, and they become the leader of this cult. Now, this is the Urban Dictionary. I hardly ever use the Urban Dictionary, but they have a good point here. Cult, a group, oftentimes though not always religious or spiritual in nature. So it's not always religious. It's not always spiritual. That is led by a single or a group of leaders. So we have this group, the single leader. He can also have other leaders around him. All cults are led by a leader. This leader proclaimed himself to be the leader of this group. And he have other, most of the time they have others under them. This is a cult. Members are often recruited. This is the recruitment. How do they get people? Members are often recruited or by some means persuaded to join. Rarely if ever, ever knowing how destructive and harmful a cult can be. They don't know it's, it's destructive and harmful. They don't see it. They do not see a cult as a cult. They said these people know the most high. These people are loving. These people are kind. These people are teaching the word of the most high. This is not a cult. 